Hi, Donna with Photonic Health. Today I wanted to chat with you about equine eastern encephalitis. This deadly, deadly virus is actually transmitted to horses through mosquitoes. And while it can be prevented in vaccinations, if vaccinations are available in your areas, Sometimes it doesn't actually prevent it and your horse will end up with it anyways. Unfortunately, this has a, a 70 to 90% mortality rate. And when it hits, it hits really, really fast. How do we know? Um, we actually had a horse, we've had two horses that came down with it. And um, it's pretty alarming actually. So I wanted to give you guys some things to look for um, first off, if your horse becomes uncoordinated, so it attacks the neurological system. And when I say uncoordinated, um, I know my horse presented as he looked like he was out partying all night. Like he literally could not walk a straight line. Um, and that was a little bit more advanced. Um, some of the other symptoms are they lose interest in eating. Um, they can also start drooling uncontrollably. Um, not always. They become very lethargic and very sleepy, like they just cannot stay awake. Um, and in some instances, they can also be running a fever. Now, a fever is not out, not all of these are present all at the same time. Sometimes they can be, but sometimes you can only have one or two of the symptoms. Now, of course, you're going to want to call your veterinarian if you suspect anything, and he's going to come out and he's going to draw blood. And that's about the extent of that. You want to get a confirmed diagnosis if possible. However, um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to delay any treatment of this because if it is uh, equine eastern encephalitis, it will run through your horse's system pretty quickly. If your horse becomes, if it attacks the neurological system, it can literally take a horse down and make it so that the horse literally cannot stand up because it is so disoriented. And you don't really want to put your horse or yourself in that position. So you want to start treatment of this immediately, even if you just have a slight suspicion that it might be that, um, you can go ahead and you can start using red light therapy to illuminate the antiviral points um, so you can eradicate the virus from the bloodstream as quickly as possible and minimize the damage so your horse can uh, go on to live a happy, normal, healthy life. So whichever side the hyoid was out, in this case, her seems to be off to the right side. That's where you're gonna take and put your pro light on high and put your standard light on low. Now again, if you don't have two lights, you're just gonna put your hand on the opposite side. So I always put the low light on first, and then put the standard light or high light on the other side second. Put your hands against the horse and look in the same direction that she 